curtsy lunges right here with the dumbbells. One of my favorite, favorite, favorite exercises. Talk about a crazy angle, this is a little X-rated, but I guess you gotta be able to see from every angle so that you can know how to perform correctly. Kind of from your toes to your heels and you'll feel a really good squeeze. What is going on my friends? Welcome back to another Workout Wednesday and today we are gonna go through five different leg exercises that are gonna help you grow. They're kind of uncommon exercises. I'm sure you've seen people do them before, but they're not your average run-of-the-mill squats, lunges, what have you. I'm gonna teach you a little bit more of an advanced way to target your glutes, target your quads, and overall just help you grow. Now, when you get into these exercises, I want you to really focus on progressive overload. So, if you're gonna perform some of these exercises, let's say from a three to five set, 10 to 15 rep, eight to 12 rep range, I want you trying to increase the weight every set. So, we're gonna get into this. I'm gonna voice it over. I'm gonna do the exercises from a bunch of different angles so that you can see exactly how they're done. Then I'll voice it over make sure that there's little cues to help you be able to efficiently do them. Now again, they're not your average run-of-the-mill exercises, but they are beneficial. If you wanna try them out, I think it's a fun way to spice up your leg days, and who doesn't want to build a strong base? Now with that said, I appreciate you watching. Before we get into the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you're the first one to see my videos and with that said let's get into the exercises and grow our glutes i should also mention these workouts are great to do on their own implemented into their own leg workout that you maybe love or you can put them all together and make a really great legs workout on its own so enjoy and here we are with our first exercise. We're gonna get set up in our deficit sumo squat. So right here, I want you to notice the benches are pretty wide. You're gonna open your toes at about 45 degrees. You're gonna pull those shoulders back and down. You're gonna descend, pushing your hips back. Get super deep, let that dumbbell kind of come in between the benches for the deepest possible squeeze, I guess stretch at the bottom of those glutes. Kind of into the hamstrings and at the top, you're gonna feel the glutes super squeeze and then your quads as well. Right here again, notice the chest up, chin tucked, you're trying to keep the spine neutral. Again, notice the toes pointing outwards. This is really gonna target those glutes. This is where I feel it the most, kind of shake it out. And we'll go into the next exercise right here. Right there, we've got a Bulgarian rear foot elevated RDL, but that, notice that first initial movement where I kind of stuck my leg out with my heel. That's just a little hack to get your width right or your, your depth, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. But as you can see, it put me into a perfect position right here to descend down along that single leg. You're pushing that one hip back, trying to keep that spine as neutral as possible. Reach down and then I want you really focusing on pulling through that heel that's on the ground. Use that back toe as a lever. This is a pretty good angle to see that vein. Obviously not what we're working, but kind of a crazy angle. I don't know. It's just weird to see yourself at different angles on camera sometimes. But again, straight down, keeping it close to the body, pulling up, feeling the hamstrings really engage as well as the glutes. Going into our curtsy lunges right here with the dumbbells, one of my favorite, favorite, favorite exercises to really target that glute. You're gonna feel it kind of on the outer side of your glute, kind of upper hip area, almost up into your hip. So I want you to really focus on reaching through that toe on that transverse plane and focusing on pushing through that front heel, kind of the lateral side of that front heel when you come back up and keeping those hips and chest square when you reset. Reach, push. Now we're going into a very uncommon exercise. You don't see many people doing this in the gym, probably because you might be scared to just do it because you look like a bozo, but it's a really beneficial, 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 beneficial exercise. It's a Smith machine leg press right here. I really want you to focus on getting the depth or the width of your feet correct. 
You'll notice I'm kind of pushing through the balls of my feet. It's kind of personal preference as to where you want that bar to be, but you're just gonna descend and basically, this is gonna help protect your back, especially with the support of the ground, right? So you're coming down into that depth just like you're squatting, and then it's almost as if you're squatting the clouds away. Although, hopefully you're using a weight that's a little heavier than the clouds. I don't even really know how much the clouds would weigh. Anyways, talk about a crazy angle. This is a little X-rated, but I guess you gotta be able to see from every angle so that you can know how to perform correctly. Push the knees out. That's one of the biggest cues I want you to remember on there, but just another great exercise to protect your back if you don't do well on squats. Going into our last exercise, the cable goblet squat, just like a dumbbell goblet squat, except you're using the cable. The hardest part is getting set up, getting it under your chin, but you're gonna go in narrow stance to target those quads just a little bit more. As you come up and through, squeeze those glutes, feel everything contract, keep that chest up. You wanna focus on pushing yourself away, kind of from your toes to your heels, and you'll feel a really good squeeze. There you have it, my friends. That was five exercises. I hope you enjoyed them. I hope you were able to take something away from maybe a cue I gave you. If so, let me know in the comments. Let me know if there's another group of muscles that you wanna see, kind of different kinds of exercises. It's one of my favorite things to do as a personal trainer. Just get creative with equipment, exercises, and find different ways to target different muscle groups, right? So kind of getting away from that normal bicep curl or the normal bench press, what have you. And again, thank you for watching, I appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. That's the end of my YouTube pitch on the tube of you with me. Have an awesome freaking day, I'll see you next time. Don't forget to smile.